Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, October 22nd. Great to be with you after uh, a short break. And, uh, just really thankful to be here as we start a week together on Tuesday. I want to talk about our words tonight. You know, our words, they can and do shape the course of our lives and the lives of the people that we love. Sometimes we don't think we have that much power. Sometimes we think our words don't matter, so we're very casual or even uncaring about what we say because we think it'll just blow over. Words remain with people. They sink deep into the heart. They can be a cause of great joy and hope and life or they could be a cause of great destruction. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. The book of James urges us to choose between wisdom from below and wisdom from above. And one of the reasons of the great urgency that James wants us to choose wisdom from above is so that we will speak words that will bring life rather than destruction. Earlier in the chapter, chapter 3 in James, he says this about the power of the tongue. I'm going to read in uh, James 3, verses um, part of 5 and 6, so we can grasp it. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person setting the whole course of his life on fire and is itself a fire set by hell. A fire set on fire by hell. Those are weighty, weighty, heavy words. And if you and I are not careful with our words, then what is behind us, what, what will our legacy will be one of destruction. You see the, in the thumbnails tonight a little small flame starting in a fire in a forest, kind of like this one. And how quickly this whole forest behind me and all around me could be on fire, could be devastated. This is what James is trying to tell us about what comes out of our mouth. See, words are not the product of human evolution. Words are not the idea of humans. Words are the idea of God. Language is a gift given to us by God so that we can communicate to him, so that we can speak to him, and so that he can speak to us the written language of his word. Listen carefully what he's saying. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. What are we supposed to do with this? We need to think carefully about wisdom from above. Words that heal. Whenever I'm defensive, whenever someone has hurt me, and guess what? Someone is going to hurt you. Maybe even tonight. Maybe even before my video is over. How do we respond to that? Do we keep the fire building so that what's around us is not green, but what's around us is just burned, charred, ruins? As you know, I've been doing this counseling stuff for um, almost four decades. I know people's lives that are like a charred forest behind me. Not lush and green, but charred, ruined. Because they're, like, they let their mouths speak from the desires of their flesh. They let their mouths speak because they were hurt. So they didn't consider a gentle answer. They didn't consider 
using words that will build up. They considered words using that will tear down, words that will get back at someone. When you face that urge to get back at someone, to let them have it, that urge, trust me, that urge, that drive is not coming from the Holy Spirit. It's not coming from this book. It's coming from your enemy who has dominated your flesh and is calling you to buy into destruction. God isn't cheering when the fires are burning. The Holy Spirit is grieved. But I can tell you someone who is. The enemy of your souls is thrilled when God's people use the words that God intended us to use, the mouth that God intended us to use to build up, to encourage, to build each other up, as Paul says in Ephesians, to build each other up until we reach maturity in Christ. But if I lash out, if you have to have the last word, if you have to be right, if you just can't let this go, you're going to let them have it. That's not what the Holy Spirit has called us to. He's called us to repel evil with good words with pleasant words, with words that speak of life. I'm not talking about rolling over and playing dead. I'm not talking about being passive. I'm talking about being powerfully aggressive, having humility to see beyond what could be a fire that would consume you and all around you. But instead, move beyond the hurt of the moment. Reach out with the power of the Spirit so that instead of getting back and letting someone have it, wisdom from above comes out love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Let those things come from your heart and your mouth. And don't be a part of forest fires relational forest fires that destroy. Be a part of giving lush, green hope. Wisdom from above. Love your thoughts, your feedback. Lord willing, we're back tomorrow.